Hi, I'm Willie. My topic is about MQTT. MQTT is a very lightweight protocol which implements the pop sub pattern. There are lots of IoT devices already using MQTT to send in data. Um, currently, we cannot add a new lock driver as an external plugin, so we have to modify the Docker source, then build a new Docker binary. Here's the new one, and you can you you can modify the lock driver. Uh, you can use MQTT and uh, add the option MQTT host equals to uh, just for the MQTT broker. Then we have to run something. Let's run echo high and sleep one second to ensure the data is sent to the um, MQTT broker. <coughs> yeah, it's sent to the MQTT broker now, but uh, we have to write. Uh, you have to use some subscriber to subscribe the logs and do some other things. Here's a very simple one, which only show the logs to the terminal. Okay, subscriber. Okay, it's subscribing now. Know that it's subscribing Docker dash log slash weird call. Let's send the logs again. Okay, we receive the log. The topic is Docker dash log with the container ID. So if we using this one as the topic, we will receive all the Docker log. So there are not only one way to subscribe data. You can also forwarding the logs to front D or Logstash or even some online services such like Logly. Here we provide um, here I provide an, another cool way to subscribe the the your data. This is provided by HiveMQ. This is super cool. It's via WebSocket, so the port is different. <coughs> Let's connect. Okay, now you have to assign a topic. <coughs> Let's subscribe it. And then send the log again. <coughs> this time we send hello. <coughs> First of all, we can see the original, subscri the original subscriber also receive the data and now wow it's a very cool so the, the cool thing about the pop sub pattern is that you can have more than one subscriber to subscribe the same topic is it cool thank you